All right, hey Libra. So I am doing a past life, uh, a past life contract and this life karmic, um, or karma contract, I should say. All right, you're gonna know this is your read by the current energy, and we're gonna see where this relationship or connection is gonna go. Um, so if you don't resonate with the current uh, energy and intro, you guys check your other placements, please. And if you're new, welcome. I do hope you guys will subscribe if you uh, like my vibe. So. Let's just see where your energy is at right now. For Libra. All right. So we have the Knight of Cups coming through. The Five of Wands. The Queen of Swords. And the Nine of Cups. So there could be a dynamic here where there's a younger and an older. There's There could be a, a slight age gap between you guys. All right. It's like for now, it's like if you're dealing with somebody, you might have had to be a little bit of a, abrasive with this person a little bit, uh, maybe even feeling cold hearted about how everything has kind of transpired between you, the, you and this person. It doesn't mean that you're not talking to this person. OK, with the five of wands, though, it's like I'm done playing games. I, I'm, I'm, I'm done with the drama. I'm, I'm done with conflict. I'm done with everything. All right. With the um, it's I feel like there's a lot of love here. There's a lot of wishes you could see into the future with this person coming through your heartstrings. But it's like it's almost like they could um, coming in this younger um, energy. All right. And it doesn't matter the age. Um, the, the person could be older than you and they could still be, um, you know, lack some uh, emotional maturity. But what I almost feel is there's somebody that's kind of just playing around with your heartstrings. Now, I am going to see what the dynamic is, but what I see here is you actually really have a lot of feelings for this connection coming through, but something has um, triggered you to be, I feel, in this Queen of Swords energy where it's a uh, um, direct setting boundaries, okay? I'm not playing games. I'm not a game player, right? Um, that's what I feel is coming through. I feel like somebody could just be playing with your heartstrings and you're not going to put up with that. And the Knight of Cups is actually a really loving energy. However, the Knight of Cups has the potential to be dramified. They could just be that player. It's not just the Knight of Wands that, that gets that reputation because um, the Knight of Cups can come through too. And if the Knight of Cups is bringing a drama, flighty type of energy, stringing you along, um, it, it's well just. I feel like that could be appropriate to any of the, the actual core cards really. So let's see what the person is that's on your mind what is their energy what is their energy so libra all right so this person i i feel like this person can't make a decision with you the two of wands um it's it's all about choices it's all about taking a path and sticking to it but it comes in reverse all right and what i feel is this person um, they're having you know i i don't know why if uh, you guys resonate with the term shit show um, and I'm not saying this person is one, but what I, I, that just came into mind and it's like my life or something going on with this person is, is basically derailing them for making a decision or a choice to kind of move forward with you. All right. There's something that's clouding this person's decision to choose the path with you. And you're like serious about them. You can see a big future with them. Um, but I do feel like they are kind of stringing you along. All right. Um, the six of swords. I, this person is under the, they do know that they have to make a decision about this connection. They do know that the six of swords actually did come in the, in the upright. All right. And I feel like this person knows that they have, it's like shit or get off the pot. Right. Um, I'm sorry for all the terms um, and, and phrases with shit in it, but I don't know why I'm saying that a lot. You guys, um, <clears throat> maybe you know why. Um, the world card coming through is about rewards. It's completion. It's also um, endings of cycles or new beginnings for new cycles. All right. This person, I almost feel like they know that they're kind of on a um, a clock, you know, it's like they're, their time is running out, you know, I'm not going to put up with this, right? So let's see what the dynamic is between you guys. What's going on here? We have the Queen of Wands, so we have very, very independent energy. <clears throat> All right. So here's what I'm going to say. Basically, I don't feel like you guys are completely in union. Um, if you're drawn here to this read, um, we are doing um, sort of a past life mini um, interpretation of why you guys are coming in together for this contract. But the four of cups right now tells me that there's a potential missed opportunity. All right. And, and it's like everything was good. Everything has the potential to be awesome and phenomenal with you guys. Um, but somebody is not there. They won't shit or get off the pot. And that's where the missed opportunity is coming through. All right. But you're not letting that bog you down. I feel like uh, Libra, you're I feel like you're the one taking on the, the queen of wands, the courage, the confidence, the independence to keep moving forward um, because you have a lot of self-respect. 
respect. Okay. You have a high sense of self. Um, and you know that you, you, this, you're not limited to this one person. And if this person can't make a decision, it's not going to stop you from moving forward. All right. With the hermit card coming through, I almost feel like the energy is coming through with this other person kind of being quiet. You're not really hearing from them, but again, you're not letting, um, you're not letting that influence, um, your day to day. You know what I mean? I feel like you do have strong feelings for this, this person, but it, it's like, I'm not going to let you, um, I'm not going to let you infiltrate and I'm not going to let bad vibes or energy kind of, uh, um, be a negative in, in my day to day, um, dealings. You know what I mean? Um, I, I feel like there is a, a lot of quietness between you and this person, but I don't feel like it's really affecting you, not on the exterior, right? It's not, it's not preventing you from moving forward. So let's just see what you guys left in your past life. What did you guys leave? So this is obviously a deep connection coming through here. That's why you were drawn here. All right. So we have trust. Exactly. We have trust coming through in the last life. So this situation is calling you for you to have faith. Now th we're thinking of past life. So in your past life, when you were with this person, um, you guys didn't complete the contract. And one of the reasons why you guys incarnate into this life is because of lack of trust. All right. It could be you. It could be this person. Um, but there was a lack of dealing. There was a lack of trust in your last life. And it could be because of the game playing. It could be because of the... Um, seeking other attention other people other energies it could just be lying manipulation let's see why trust is coming through for the past life so here's what i'm going to say um with judgment card coming through here's what i'm going to say i do feel like what what you guys had look at that you're coming through with the nine of cups in your energy so in your last life what happened was we seen the ace of cups and we seen the ten of cups all right so new beginnings and wish fulfillment okay but what happened is judgment came, judgment card came through and i feel like what happened with the last life is somebody probably most likely entered either you or the person on your mind somebody came back through because judgment represents angels of the past um so what i feel like spirit saying to you in the in the in regards to the past life is there was more changing growing rebuilding and releasing of that past just as well all right yes it was a new beginning that you guys had shared and yes there was a lot of feelings of of um i can see the big picture i can see the happy house i can see everything going through here you know in a real positive way but with judgment card coming through it tells me that somebody was pulled in an in another direction so they had unfinished business basically and we couldn't trust it and even if they came back in your past life it's like the trust was not there anymore so basically there was a really good thing that was ruined in the past life and it gave you guys um it, it, you didn't have faith or trust in the situation or the person. All right. Judgment card is, is um, all about going back and having to, um, you know, it's like, it's like karmic contracts. So if this person that is on your mind, you don't feel like you can wholeheartedly trust them. Um, you know, potentially it could be you or this uh, person, but in the, in the last life, there was still unfinished business that one had to attend to. So something from their past calls them back. And it's like, we have this beautiful connection coming through. How could you just leave it? You know, um, so let's see what you guys are going to heal in this lifetime together. What you guys are healing for this contract. We have new love. So don't think of it as a new person. But what you guys are doing is actually, uh, I feel like there's going to be a reinvention to this dynamic. Okay. Um, I feel like when, when you guys, um, potentially, you know, when you guys come back around, because I do feel like you're in separation, I do feel like you're going to see a, a reinvented, um, dynamic all right to the love interest that's on your mind and on your heart space and as i say that look at that four of wands is at the bottom of the deck okay so let's see how you guys are healing the opportunities coming through what's being healed what's the contract all about for this lifetime for libra what do you guys have the, okay so we have the lowering we have the lowering of the guards look at that so we have um we're the nine of, um, look, yeah, exactly. Wow. Okay. So the nine of wands coming in reverse. So what you guys are here to heal in this lifetime is the scared factor, um, the, uh, inability to lower our guards and be vulnerable towards each other. And so if you're dealing with somebody who might seem like they're being a player, um, they're not, they're being dramified, they're stringing you along. Um, what I really feel is happening is this person, um, they have, uh, they have their own trust issues. They have their own, um, you know, influences as to why they're not making themselves seem serious. Okay. But what you guys are actually healing in this life is the vulnerability factor. So this will 
this will reverse. You guys will come into this where we're going to, we're going to lower our guard. We're going to have the communication that we need to have, and we're going to treat each other with respect. All right. So in this disconnection that you guys are kind of experiencing right now, death card is coming through as transformation and rebirth. So transformation and rebirth sticking right there with new love. That's what you guys are healing. So um, as you guys are apart, there is actually a transformation taking place and just know that you guys will come back through. And when you start communicating, it's going to be full on communication. All right. The, the communication is going to be what we expect from each other, the respect, the love, the feelings, the emotions, all right, that we have, it's actually going to be laid out on the table. Um, you know what I mean? So let's just see where your guys's connection goes from here, where the connection will go from here for Libra. Where does it go from here? I feel like we have some emotional immaturity going on. Lack of emotional maturity. All right. So where it goes from here. Wow. So look at this. You guys. I am. Wow. Uh-huh. So here is, is where you guys are going. Basically, you guys are closing the door on, on the past that was kind of that's been kind of irrelevant at this point. So we're not playing games with each other anymore. What you're gonna see is the basically um um uh the ten of swords is is uh, to me it's a representation of removing any and all things that are preventing the new love from coming in. Okay, so the Ten of Swords is releasing and purging all the past mistakes and errors and people and energies and cords that is disallowing, um, you know, each other to make room for the, the special place in the heart, if that makes sense. So that that's being cut out. What's happening is is the, the bad energy of the past is being cut out because um, ultimately you guys think about each other all the time. Um, it's like I, you, 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 there's nobody else in, in your heart space. The seven of wands says that you guys, um, you have a very, very um, deep connection. You have very, very deep feelings for one another. And look at this. Where, where does it go from here? We have the emperor, the empress, divine feminine, divine masculine. And the four of wands coming through. So you guys coming together and actually making a plan to make this work and kind of write it out. Okay, so I do feel like this contract will be fulfilled in a very, very heart healthy way in this lifetime. You guys should be really excited to see those cards because I know I am. All right, so let's just see what your advice is for now. For Libra, what is the advice for now? So if you guys aren't married right now, um... I think you got a big, a, a big, a really big future to look forward to. All right. Your advice for now, though, is to embody patience, understanding. That's what temperance is. This is um, your spirit guide saying this is a soul connection here, um, but you can't be sad about the past. You got to look forward to the future. Okay. And if you guys are are really like in your energy and you, and you know that, you know, that you're the shit and it's okay to feel very, very confident, um, you know, and still kind of have some reservations for why isn't something going your way. What spirit's saying to you right now is you just need to understand and have some patience for this person, especially if they lack the maturity that you do. Okay. This is all coming together. You guys will see forward movement and you'll you know that this connection right here, um, is actually protected. Okay. It is a protected and a, a connection that is being guided back together. But what your angels and spirit guides are asking you for right now is to have some understanding and patience and let everything unfold as it should. Okay. You don't want somebody to come through as emotionally damaged or have emotional heartbreak. Um, you know, you want them to come through as healthy and, and uh, with a clear mind and able to make that decision to be with you. All right, Libra. I'm going to leave it here. I do hope that you guys will uh, comment and let me know who this is sitting with. You guys take it easy.